friends and welcome back to my channel my name is Karina and today I have my May plan with me for you so as in my last video my last plan with me video I'm again using my Ravi watercolor journal and I've got some brand new watercolors from Jaboyan I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right it's a small business from Germany a woman who makes their own watercolors in this palette is called the boho watercolor palette and so i've decided to do something a bit inspired by this color so i've got this boho slash desert theme for you i did a lot of collaging this month because i wasn't feeling to draw a lot because in april i really drew two to three paintings every day one for the videos here and then for university <laughs> And for a lot of different things so I didn't want it to draw too much I just wasn't feeling it so I've decided to go back to collaging <clears throat> but for testing out the watercolors of course I couldn't get without a little bit of watercolor paintings so on the cover page I've got this circle with some deserts and a moon on the top and then just the header May 2022 and then leaf on the side which I did with Pine liners in a way of line art. On the left side of the cover page you already can see I've choose the quote and this quote says if it's out of your hands it deserves freedom from your mind too and this is a quote that's really speaking to me and yeah overall I've just had some noodles of leaves and the sun that you saw before and again some sparkles because when you know me you know that I need the sparkles in my bullet journal setups and the next page is my monthly planning page I like to call it like that because I don't have a monthly overview like the most of people have it like they've got a big calendar or like this vertical calendar thing from the bullet journal method but I always go in categories for this page so I've got a small little calendar just to see what, um, which date is on, on Monday or on Sunday or anything and on the bottom I've got my events with a tiny paper that I've got from a journaling pad. I will try to find it in the internet but I've got it in a store here in Germany. But when I will find it I will definitely link it down below. <coughs> and here from this journaling pad all of the things I stick in coming from there. And here on the right side I've just got my to-dos, some notes, stuff to buy and books to read just for my of all things of the month from buying of course I will go sh grocery shopping this will not go on this list 
And on the top of the right side, I've got another quote which says, Perfection is found in accepting your imperfections, which is also really speaking to me because I'm an extremely perfectionist. And yeah, that's it for this page already. It was really simple to do because the most things I just sticked in and then I've just got this little watercolor leaves and this watercolor rainbow from Boho Inspired. And yeah, that's already it. The next page I'm setting up is something really new for me in the way I set it up. I did gratitude logs way before but in a long time I haven't done them. And here, as I said, on the right side of this page I have my gratitude logs so every day I will write something inside which I'm grateful for and I've just got it like in sun like you see the circle in the middle and then a lot of straight lines going out from the um, word that says thankful and it's 31 spaces so it will fit for the whole month there's one space and then on the left side I've got my goals which I've got in the category social mental fitness and personal and yeah then I just had these three lines and this is how I set it this up I saw it on Pinterest and I'm not sure who is the original artist but let me know in the comments if you know who came up with this idea first because I think this is really a genius idea and it looks so cool. Next up I've got my tracker pages. They are always the same in all of my setups. I got on the top I've got my habits. Normally I'm tracking six habits but this month I'm going with eight. But this is because a lot of these habits are really small habits so they're nothing too big and they're easy to do on a daily and on the bottom i've got my mood tracker which is always like a diagram so i can stick to the point from one to ten where i'm feeling today but this time i've got it from three to ten because i've never gone below three and yeah <laughs> because of the header it took too much space and I couldn't do 10 in all but yeah that's another story and I've got legend for this mood tracker because I don't only track my mood in this I also track my energy my sleep and my creativity level so I've got for every category another color and then I can see how they play with each other you could say so is my mood bigger when i'm more creative or when i slept enough or anything like that and for the habits i'm tracking this month i've got journaling fruits vitamins walk drawing routines water and reading these are all habits that i think are really good for my mental health and that i need to come up with and also this food and uh, this fruits so that i eat one fruit a day or that I walk on a day outside with my dogs. This is really important because I definitely don't do it enough. And on the bottom of this page, I've just got the quote, she decided to start living the life she imagined. And that's it for this page. I was a bit, little bit too long with talking, I'm sorry. We are already on the next page and on the last page of the setup. Um, the left side is for Amsterdam because my boyfriend and me are going to travel to Amsterdam this month and I've just got some little things that I want to check before we are going so my packaging and things I want to check out and I also got this collaging at the bottom with a quote this is like travel the world at a word and then there come the explanation the only thing you buy that makes you richer and yeah I just thought this was really fitting it was also in this journaling pad so I just glued it in and on the right side I've got my notes which is usually my brain dump but the title would be too big this is why I called it notes this month and again just sticked in some little paper 
papers that I found and got some little water coloring like this sun at the bottom or these dots that you can see on the right side. And that's anything for this page. So the last thing I'm working on today is my weekly and I know in my last plan with me I told you that I stick to the same weekly since weeks now but today I thought why don't try something else because I saw this idea on Instagram where a girl had on the one side like just an overall um, box to write in anything for this week and on the other side she she's got something like notes or goals or anything i'm not sure right now the only thing i did um, in another way i believe is that i added a dutch door at the bottom so i've cut the page in a little bit more a little bit less than the half so i have this little door on the bottom and i don't know if you know plant-based bride or anything but she has this rolling weekly method and she's got this to do's where at the top they're sending the days and then you can go with a dot on something that is happening on this specific date i've done an example here so birthday and then i got with the dot on friday the 6th and got this line so i can see for which date it is i hope this explanation was somehow um, in a sense for you <laughs> but yeah and then on the right side I've just got my goals and on the bottom of this little Dutch door I've got one my priorities for this week and my notes and the rest is just decoration I again did some collaging and some watercoloring I came up with the desert again that I had on my cover page and that's it for this <laughs> setup I would say I hope you enjoyed planning with me here's a final flip through of all my pages and i hope you have a great day and maybe if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it would meant the world to me bye